When I first started the project on old grave portraits, I really had this idea in my mind that it would be a popular avenue for people who enjoyed the macabre, or perhaps enjoyed seeing how people might have once looked. It was a way to maybe bring life to forgotten people and to give their names a face. One thing that I have to do when running the channel though is to be honest with myself. And quite honestly, the grave portrait shorts that I am sharing are not popular in the least. There's no problem with that. You have to try different avenues to see what people may or may not like. While I personally enjoy seeing them, the numbers don't lie. There is barely a lick of interest in this avenue. However, I'm not someone who easily likes to dismiss footage that I have taken. So while the weekly shorts that I have been sharing have failed to garner any interest, it leaves me with three options. First of all, I can continue posting one short a week on old grave portraits, knowing that it will draw little interest. Secondly, I could just bin the lot of what I have remaining and put it down to experience. Lastly though, because I really don't like discarding old footage, I could put them all into one compilation video, such as what you are seeing here. This covers all bases. I'm getting to post them all, while realistically I'm also dumping the lot of them at the same time and putting them into one video. This also relieves me of a problem in that I don't have to discard any footage. The video isn't really likely to do very well, but let's be honest, the shorts that I was creating were likewise not doing very well either. So rather than posting one short a week for the next 22 weeks, why not slap them all into one video and get a bit creative with the presentation? This way I can be done with that project and move on to the next one. The most popular feature on my channel is the Mafia stories, and I do have two more Mafia stories coming up, but I don't want to pigeonhole myself and have people think that I am a Mafia channel. There are tons of channels out there that are built specifically to tell Mafia stories, but that isn't what my channel is about. My channel is about telling stories of New York City, of which the Mafia is a big part of. However, for me, the Mafia stories are just one piece of my overall puzzle. A small segment of the overall presentation concerning stories about New York City. It is true, the Mafia stories are the most popular on my channel, and I could probably join various other channels in becoming popular in that field. That's not what I'm here for though. I would much rather show you where the Erie Canal first got its origins, or where one of the first New York families are buried, rather than tell you stories just for quick and easy views. There is a goal that I have, and it has been practiced twice already. My goal is to tell stories that are hopefully shared in schools and learning institutes one day to teach people. There is one video that I have on the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire that was shared in an online class. And another generic New York City video that a friend of mine showed to his class of students in Thailand. His purpose for showing the kids was to show them where he lived. So while technically not a teaching video, it was used in a classroom. This is why I share stories that perhaps aren't the most popular stories about New York City. But my hope is that one day a teacher somewhere will say to themselves, I would love to teach my class about the Betts Family Cemetery. And then they go on YouTube and they find this one solitary video on the Betts Family Cemetery that I had recorded. Our lives are short. Just a few weeks ago I turned 60 years old so I'm now in the home stretch. It would make me feel really good if I know that I'm leaving something behind me that might be used one day to teach our future generations. That I think is my ultimate goal on YouTube, to leave something worthwhile behind. Even if it turns out to be just a single, solitary video.